quiet for the moment, but in six years' time, sleepy Wanaka Airport could well be hearing the roar of jet planes bringing in close to half a million passengers a year if the Queenstown Airport Corporation have their way. Yesterday's proposal came just hours before a public meeting in Frankton, where urban designer David Jerram suggested building an entirely new airport on much cheaper land outside of both Queenstown and Wanaka. He says the 37 hectares on which Queenstown Airport stands could fetch a billion dollars if developed for housing. According to Jerram, a new airport elsewhere would be better suited for the projected population growth in the area. The reason we've probably concentrated on the, the Cromwell Terrace Basin is because all the population statistics and the growth of the population is all generating, is all heading for central Otago. Jerem disputes the airport corporation's figure of passengers to Wanaka, saying it could easily be much more, up to four million a year. And he says an independent study is needed. Somebody is going to have to carry out a serious study of other airport locations because Queen QAC certainly didn't do it. The proposal of not developing Wanaka's airport, scrapping Frankton's airport and freeing up the valuable land is getting the thumbs up from some Queenstown residents as well. But what they're trying to say is that it is, it is feasible economically and financially and if you get over that barrier then you can start thinking by arranging about where you go to next, what you might do with the where you might locate it, but also what you can do with the land that's free up as a result. Given the planning and construction that would be required at Wanaka's airport, it's thought to be unlikely jet flights will begin before 2025. In Queenstown and Wanaka for the South Today.